What's up guys, Educated Barfly back again this week with another Prohibition era cocktail. Thinking about the exact time that Perry Mason is set, which is 1932 Los Angeles, I really wanted to kind of get across with this drink, the idea that uh, at this time, the country is reeling from the Great Depression, but people in LA are still living the high life. They're still drinking champagne. So I thought it would be pretty fitting to do a drink called the French 75. The French 75 was created at uh, Harry's American Bar in Paris around 1926, and purportedly, Harry McElhone, the owner of the bar, is the guy who named it. It was named after the French 75 millimeter gun that was used during World War I, and the reason why was just because this drink gave such a kick, it was like being hit with a French 75. Uh, very, very simple drink. So first thing we are gonna do is just half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, and one ounce of gin. And we're just gonna add our ice into our tin and add our cocktail. Give it a nice shake. All right, then we're gonna center our glass. And then give it a little double strain here. And then we're just going to add our champagne on top. Pouring slowly so that you don't overfill the glass because it will overflow. Just pour very slowly until it settles. And then we're gonna cut a nice garnish. So for this one, I wanna go a little bit more refined. So I'm just gonna give a nice, big, long lemon twist. And then we're gonna take a paring knife and just give it a little, I like to cut a parallelogram. Like so. And if you want, you can slit it in the middle and twist it and put it on the rim of the glass. But what I like to do is just give it a nice little lemon twist and then twist it up like so. And then just stick the twist into the glass. And there it is, the French 75. Let's... I mean, it's just a really, 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 really fantastic drink. You know, you've got the lemon sour and the gin just really prominent and it's just lengthened by that champagne. It is tart, it is a little bit sweet and it is very dry with the botanicals kind of of the gin kind of coming through uh, to kind of fill out the flavor profile. So there you go guys. Mix up your French 75 and enjoy this episode and definitely remember to tune in to Perry Mason Sundays at nine on HBO.